Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I want to show you how you can do a urinalysis test on your rats. Uh, and having some urinalysis strips is super important for your rat first aid kit uh, because these can help alert you to a lot of issues going on in your rats. Now, you can get these in many places. Uh, I got these off Amazon, but you can find them usually at pharmacies as well. And you really only need them to tell you about the rat's protein levels. Uh, their glucose levels and their blood levels. Everything else here can tell you some information, uh, but those three are the most important, uh, namely because protein kind of tells you how their kidneys are doing and high protein can indicate kidney failure. Uh, blood tells you about infection. So sometimes if your rat has like a urinary tract infection, they might have trace amounts of blood in their urine, but you might not be able to see it visually, um, but it will be detectable on the strips. Uh, and then finally, glucose can tell you about diabetes. So lots of things, <laughs> Blueberry's trying to bite this for some reason. Anyways, these are super helpful for diagnostics. Uh, so it's just really nice to have them on hand when necessary. Now these are human testing strips and that's totally fine. They are just as accurate. Uh, they're not as accurate as drawing blood and testing that, um, which would have to be something that would happen at your vets, but they can give you a bit of an idea of what's going on. So this is a strip that hasn't been through urine or anything like that. This is just what the strip looks like in its base form. So anyways, how do you use these? <laughs> well, you don't do what Blueberry's doing. That's not how we use these blueberries. <laughs> oh my gosh. So to use these, you need your rat's urine, uncontaminated, meaning no poop, uh, no running through it, um, no marking, nothing like that. Uh, and then you need to just put the strip in there, just dip it in and kind of rub it around for a few seconds. And then you need to wait between 60 to 90 seconds, uh, depending on what you're looking at. So for the three that I mentioned, you need to wait 60 seconds. Uh, and I also forgot to mention that if you want to know about what all these other things measure for, I recommend watching the Asumu Rats video on how to use urinalysis strips for testing various things in rats, uh, and I will link that down below. Anyways, like I was saying, you need a puddle of your rat's urine in order to test this properly. Marking will not do it. Uh, marking tends to have a little bit of a higher protein level compared to normal urine, so it may test higher for protein even though the rat is completely healthy. Now to get a good urine sample from your rat, the best thing to do is take a plastic travel container, don't put any bedding or any food or anything in there, pop your rat in there for as long as it takes for them to pee, then take them out as soon as they pee and test that pee puddle. So that is the easiest way to get a collection sample, so to speak. Another thing you can do is take your carrier and put it into the fridge for a few minutes and then take it out and put your rat in it. Uh, what this does is the cold kind of stimulates them to pee, so this is a quicker way to get their urine. Another thing you can do is take them out when they're sleepy, oftentimes when they're deep asleep and you then take them out, they'll need to pee right away, so this is another good way to get urine pretty quickly. Now once you have the urine and you've removed the rat, go ahead and drag your testing strip through it, uh, and then, like I said, wait between 60 to 90 seconds to get your results, and that is the optimal time. After that time, they're still accurate for a short period, but they do lose their accuracy as time wears on. That is to say, the longer you wait after testing to read the results, the less accurate it will be, well, after the first minute to minute and a half. So I recommend reading it at 60 seconds uh, for the ones that I mentioned. And for a few of the other ones, it's best to read it in 90 seconds. But because I'm not talking about those and it's not important to donut here, which was the main reason I was testing, I'm not really going to go into that. Now, once you've done the testing, which I have two test strips right here, you then need to read your results. And the way you read your result is you just match your little strip up to this little sample strip they have right here. And this is normal. This is what you want to see. And moving in this direction is getting worse and worse for whatever measurement you're looking at. So this here is Donut's testing strip, um, and you can see this is Donut right here. She has a bunch of issues going on, but the main thing I wanted to test her for is kidney failure because she is showing hind leg degeneration, and hind leg degeneration almost always comes along with kidney issues. Uh, so I was pretty sure that she had some kidney deterioration going on, and this was just a way to confirm it. Anyways, like I said, to read this, you compare these two. I know it's not quite as good of a color comparison on the iPad. Uh, the color is just a little bit off, but... I can tell you that in person, it's a pretty easy thing to compare. And basically for Donut, everything is normal except for three things. Uh, that is her protein, her pH, and her leukocytes. So I didn't mention pH and leukocytes, but leukocytes are white blood cells, so they can indicate infection. 
However, these strips are not great for testing leukocyte levels in rats. In fact, they pretty much always show some positive for leukocytes, even if your rat has no infection going on. So because of that, it's best to disregard the leukocyte thing, unless it's extremely severe or you see something else concerning like blood, which a reading for blood plus leukocytes would probably indicate like a urinary tract infection or some other infection going on. Um, but leukocytes alone are not really a concern because these strips are just not made for rats. So even though they are pretty accurate at testing most things, they are not great for testing leukocyte levels in rats. So you just want to kind of ignore that reading. So anyways, that is not too concerning, the fact that she's kind of positive for that. Um, but what is concerning is the protein. You can see if we match the protein, it's kind of around the middle right here, maybe even this one right here, which is moderate levels of protein in the urine which does indicate that her kidneys are not doing super well. Uh, it's not full out kidney failure, but it's definitely not looking super good. Uh, and then on the other hand, you can see that her pH is all the way here at 8.5. This is also commonly seen when the kidneys aren't doing a great job and when kidney failure is happening in rats. So this basically tells me exactly what I thought it would, which is that donut has some kidney failure going on. Um, which is unfortunate, but it was something that I was expecting considering she has hind leg degeneration symptoms and she is on a kidney friendly diet now, but we're making some modifications to make it even more kidney friendly. So hopefully we'll see some improvement, but ultimately kidney failure doesn't have too many treatment options in rats. Uh, you can add in a diuretic, but Donut's already on a bunch of other medications for a pituitary gland tumor, so it's just a, a bit of a difficult situation. Anyways, hopefully this video was kind of helpful in showing you how to use these urinalysis strips for testing your rat's urine. I think these are very useful to have in your rat's first aid kit because they can tell you many things that you might just not really be able to notice otherwise. Obviously, Donut already has some symptoms, but you know, if you don't know exactly what's going on with your rats, it's never a bad idea to do one of these tests on their urine just to see if you can get some idea of what's going on. So it's just kind of a helpful diagnostic tool. And just for comparison, because I thought this would be interesting, I did also do a urinalysis test on Blueberry, which is another of my rats, and she's a healthy rat. Uh, and you can see that this was her result. Uh, you can see that comparison wise, if you look at like her protein, she has no protein in her urine, unlike Donut. Uh, and if you look at like her pH, it's much lower. So you can kind of see that everything looks a lot better in Blueberry's case, especially when it comes to her kidneys. Um, but I just thought that was kind of cool as a comparison. You can see these two strips right here. Blueberries is this one, and this is donuts. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, hopefully it was helpful to see these comparisons and see how you do this. And if anyone is interested in buying these testing strips, I will have the link to them in the description down below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!